All right, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> these first pieces right here, these are the, the boom boxes that I made. Again, out of EVA foam, LED lights, and uh, utility fabric. And I made this from this part right here that I layered on. This is a this is a canvas. I just spray painted it black mm -hmm. and just glued everything on top of it. Mm -hmm. These lights right here, I don't have the batteries hooked up to it, but this is what it looks like whenever you turn them on. And I have different colors from purple to blue, whichever whichever one they'll prefer if they get one. And my whole family is musically inclined from the great grandparents all the way down to wherever, it's just everywhere. So this is what inspired me to do this. And I mm -hmm. thought it was a fun project as well too because I love LED lights. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, my father and my brother have their studio. So stuff like this, they could just hang on the wall and it just fits the atmosphere. And then it's, it's kind of crazy and wacky looking too and neat at the same time. So. It's good mm -hmm. for like a man cave or something like that. So, <laughs> where'd you get the foam? Um, I got it from Harbor Freight. Okay. Harbor Freight. And you can get it from Academy as well, but Academy mm -hmm. is a bit more expensive, so I go to Harbor Freight. How do you shape everything? Um, uh, I make templates. I make templates on cardboard. Make the shapes on cardboard. Cut them out. Then I put it on top of the foam and mm -hmm. just get my wood burner and just cut around it. Mm -hmm. And that's how I make all my shapes for all of this. And I use my wood burner to burn the shapes in too once I take the blade off. It's got different tops that goes on it. And these down here, <clears throat> this right here is a picture of Michael Jackson. I digitally painted that, digitally created it. It's got tigers and it's got panthers on it. And it's got Michael Jackson sitting on the throne with two crowns on his head. He's got one gold crown with diamonds and on top of that crown is a crown of fire. Then next to Michael Jackson is Michael Jackson when he was a kid. And you can see the atmosphere in his afro. Then he's got the angel wings and then he's got a crown floating at the top of his hair. And the next one is Jimi Hendrix. It's a part of my series called the Rock and Roll Trinity. Mm -hmm. And we'll get to that part. But uh, that's a digital uh, art painting that I did of Jimi Hendrix as well. And I like the way that one came out. And this one right here. Um, this is from the new cosplay film that I'm doing, uh, Blade. This is the vest, and it has the two light up lights right here, the LED lights. I have the actual vest over there in the corner with the lights on it, for an example. Um, and this is the sword that comes with it. And this is also the sword that I'm gonna be using in my film, the new uh, cosplay film I got. And I also did the bottle cap challenge on Facebook with this sword. And I had the LED lights on it. I also have another ver I have this another version of this sword as well over there, another replica. Mm -hmm. And it has the diamond at the end. And in the movie, this sword right here is gonna be called Black Ice. I created this off the top of my head. This is one of my custom designs. Uh, I made that out of EVA foam. Matter of fact, it wasn't just EVA foam, it was cardboard and a yardstick. A, um, a metal yardstick. It's all on the inside. And I just layered it and just put stuff on top of it. And this down here at the bottom, this is the Stealth Spider-Man helmet. It's got two LED lights right here. This is what it looks like with the LED lights. This is the other, this is the side view of it. LED lights. And I made this out of EVA foam, same thing, and I spray painted it, and I have my utility fabric right here that I spray painted silver. I'll be having YouTube footage uh, on how I did all this coming out real soon, but I like this one too, and my favorite color is black. So, um, you guys get on my website, you will see this on here. I'm going to put it on here since it's a new product. It's not on there yet, but um, it's going to be on there, and my info, Facebook has my info, South has my info. Anybody wants to require about it, uh, just you can hit my Instagram, Gary the Artist Grant, my mm -hmm. Facebook, Patterson Creations, INC, you spell creations with a Z. And um, what else? How do you decide the size of the head of the person? Uh, well, I have a template for that that I use. Uh, I have a mannequin but his head was too small. So I kind of had to eyeball it and 
just kind of guess. I kind of measure my head too, but my head went big enough. So I had to do it like a couple inches bigger than my head, and that's how I determined my size. And I made a template for it, and this is how it came out. I had to do a side template and a middle template, mm -hmm. fold it, glue it, and then start layering it, mm -hmm. and then painted it. Could we see the inside? Yeah. There we go. Okay. The LED lights, if anybody gets mm -hmm. one of these, they can get the 2032 coin batteries and they can either tape it onto the wire or they can get some uh the coin battery holders with the on and off switch mm -hmm. on it you can get a bag of those off of amazon mm -hmm. and just hook it up to the wire flip mm -hmm. the button and it cuts right on mm -hmm. all right next mm -hmm. part it's the same thing blade vest and the sword black ice and right here is a spray paint stencil art drawing that i did of bob marley um it took a while for me to do that drawing because I, mm -hmm. I messed up on it a lot. Not because of I couldn't do it, it's because of the paint and the temp and the uh, stencils that I created. Some of the colors kept getting mixed up and it kept sticking to the canvas. Mm -hmm. So I had to find a way to make it not stick. And once I figured out how to fix the problem, it came out like that and it came out pretty good. Next one, the Spider-Man mask. Same thing with this one. Uh, had templates, same templates that I used with that. It has the LED lights right here. They both glow blue. Inside looks the same as the other ones. And I made plenty of these. All of this will be on my website. Uh, this right here is Deadpool. Same thing inside LED lights. It's made out of EVA foam. Same templates, some bigger, some smaller. And I think I used um, some primer on this one to fill up some of these gaps because mm -hmm. it had some gaps up in it when I made it. And mm -hmm. then I used for the eyes the same thing. Um, What's the material for the eyes? It's the same thing as that, um, the utility fabric. I put it in there. I bought it from Joann's and I just spray painted it um, silver. So if you put this on, you can see straight mm -hmm. through it. The same thing with these right here. And mm -hmm. with the LED lights, this is how it looks. Mm -hmm. And same thing down here, got the boom box and the Michael Jackson. And if you look closely at this drawing right here, that's another digital art piece that I did. It's um, for you Alabama and, well, and Alabama and anti-Alabama fans. It's a picture <laughs> of the Alabama elephant <laughs> It's got mm -hmm. my cousin Roosevelt Patterson number right there on his wristband. Mm -hmm. And you if you look closely, it's got the Auburn Tiger head cut off in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I lost a lot. I, I, I lost some customers off that picture. Right now. I'm just going to be real. <laughs> okay, over here. Mm -hmm. The same thing. Blade fist and the sword, black ice. And right here, you can see the light right here on the vest. Mm -hmm. The picture right here is kind of light, but the other display is over there. And right here, this is mm -hmm. the other Spider-Man. This is the future Spider-Man helmet. Mm -hmm. It's all white, same templates as I use as the other ones, and it's got the LED lights right here. Mm -hmm. They beam blue, and I have the picture right here, what it looks mm -hmm. like when you put it on. LED lights right there. <laughs> Deadpool, same thing. Oh, and the utility fabric right here is black. That's the original color of it, but the other ones, I had to spray paint it, um, spray paint it silver. And I also put the weathering effects on here to make it look realistic. I just took a dry towel and just mm -hmm. dry streaked it on the edges okay. after I sprayed some silver spray paint on it. What I like about these is I can easily mess up on them and you would never know. A <laughs> lot of your cosplay is uh, very reds, blacks, whites, very stark colors. If you had a, a person who wanted to get something that was a little bit more pink, blues, mm -hmm. purples, could you accommodate them? Oh yeah, it's plenty of it's plenty of. Have you colors created like that. those like those? Oh, uh, not yet. If the colors like that that I use, I use it on like spray paint stencil art mm -hmm. to make it pop. For like, I guess like mm -hmm. pop culture art or vibrant art or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But for that right there, mm -hmm. not yet, because I guess. If somebody want a color like that, it's got to be a female, right. hopefully. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
possible. But it's good for a Power Ranger color though, <laughs> a female Power Ranger. Right here, this is my, uh, this is from the spiritual, oh, this is from the spiritual art section of my art because I have different genres uh, from sports to spiritual to anime, um, you name it, music, mm -hmm. all of that stuff, martial arts. But this is a picture of uh, a 3D uh, art piece that I did of Jesus Christ and it's called The Christ and then it's got the message what it means on here and it just says my title should tell you enough. Oh. All right, mm -hmm. next one. Mm -hmm. This right here is the suit that I wore in my film, The Battle Apprentice Part Two. I normally have the, the gauntlets with the blade that pops out with the red mm -hmm. LED lights on the side that I wore in the film, but I sold out of those. So I used the mm -hmm. gauntlets from The Battle Apprentice Part One that I have right here, and the LED lights go right here in the slot right there. Mm -hmm. And that's what it looks like when it's got the, um, the LED lights up in it. Mm -hmm. And right here is the, uh, the the vest plate, and it's got the bat signal on it that's dripping in blood. Then you got the crossover between Jason Voorhees and Batman, mm -hmm. and these are the foot mm -hmm. shin parts of my suit that I wore. And those are the leg pads that I put on my thigh, but I didn't wear mm -hmm. those in the film because since we were doing a fight scene, it would have been easy to tear off my leg. Mm -hmm. So I didn't wear those in the film, but if anybody does cosplay or wanna buy that suit, they can wear that on their legs because mm -hmm. they're not going to be doing no fighting over mm -hmm. They're probably just going to be at a Comic Con or something like that and they just walk around with it on, do some poses, take pictures. And this mm -hmm. right here. Oops. Um, it's okay. Sorry. This is mm -hmm. the Wonder Woman shield mm -hmm. and this is the Wonder Woman sword. Mm -hmm. This also has an LED light on it and it's a red LED light on it. Mm -hmm. And these did real good at the art wall. Mm -hmm. And people bought them and Boys bought them too, and I kept trying to tell them it was a female sword, but they didn't care. So I just say it's for girls and boys. So <laughs> uh, it did real good at the art walk, and I sold a good bit of them. And here's a picture of it right here with the LED lights on it. And that's a picture of it with the shield. The picture came out real good. And right here, this is from the music section of my art. This is a picture of Aaliyah. And a lot of people like that this uh, picture too. I've sold some of these at the mm -hmm. art walk. And this piece is mm -hmm. called Yeah, It's Me. Mm -hmm. And this one right here is another spiritual piece that I did right here. It's called Covered Under the Blood. You can see a man on his knees with his arms extended out and you can see Jesus' hand coming out the sky and it's raining blood from his uh, wound where they nailed him at and it's falling on the man and it's changing into lightning strikes and a lot of sparkly stuff. <laughs> Down here, that's a color pencil drawing right there that I did of Elvis Presley. That took at least 22 to 100 hours and the cosplay stuff to make that, it took me two months because I had to make at least six to 10 at the same time. Mm -hmm. And the middle drawing right there is another spiritual prophetic art piece that I did. And I named it after one of my friends uh, named Tina. She was going through something at that point and mm -hmm. that was her favorite picture. And mm -hmm. she said she always pictured Jesus carrying her in the rain out of whatever situation she was going through. Mm -hmm. So I named that picture after her and it's called Tina. Mm -hmm. All right, over here, right here we have the dioramas. This is a Roman ruin diorama. I'll be featuring some of these in some of my films with special effects to make mm -hmm. it look realistic. And I got some YouTube footage on this that I haven't posted yet, but I made this out of polystyrene foam that I bought from Lowe's. And I used some EVA foam as well for the top of the pillars. And this right here is made out of you know when you tear up a piece of cardboard and it's got these bristles up under it? That's what that's made from, but they got something that you could buy and it's already like that, so roll of it. That's what I made this out of. And I got this fake grass and stuff like that from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, Michaels and stuff like that. And these right here have LED lights on it too. And it's a blue light and it beams on it at night. If you're sitting it on your dresser or somewhere on your table, this is what it looked like when the lights and stuff is beaming on. You can see the little mm -hmm. blue lights on the back wall. Wow. And the battery and stuff goes right here in the <laughs> slot. 
but I'll have YouTube footage on that pretty soon. And it's also good if you got, if you uh, do collectibles mm -hmm. and collect figurines and stuff like that, you can pose them on top of those um, dioramas right there. And this right here is another piece, a digital piece that I, piece that I did. I was telling y'all about the Rock and Roll Trinity. You got Jimi Hendrix, you got Elvis Presley, and you got Prince right here together in a jam session and you can mm -hmm. see the crowd in the back going crazy and you can also see right here by prince you can see the dove flying right here by his side while he playing cool. that was my dad idea by the way <laughs> all right um uh, right here these are the spartan batman spartan batman spears i have a spartan batman collectible at home and I got the I, I kind of got the idea from that, but I went my own way with it because I like LED lights and then it's different. But uh, right here, this is what the spirit looked like when the LED light is on, and it's kind of tall. So, and this right here is the Spartan Batman spear. I kind of threw my own twist to it, and I threw blood on it, and. It took me a couple months to make these as well because I had to make more than one. And I also had those, I made those for the Medieval Festival. And if you look closely, well it's bent now, but that part right there has got um, two points hanging at the end. So this spear probably is at least a little over six feet when you stand it up. And this right here, it's the same thing, but the shield is kind of different. This is the very first style of shield that I had made before I made that style. And again, I threw the blood on it to bring it out some more. Mm -hmm. Then on the back, right here, you got the you got the, the parts where you put your mm -hmm. arms at, hold it up like that. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with that one. Mm -hmm. It's just a different design. And then, mm -hmm. hold on, let's see if we can stand up. Mm -hmm. All right, then you have the same thing for this one. Same thing. Little bit brighter paint, LED lights go in this part right here, and the battery sits in that part right there. And again, it took about two months to make all of this because I had to make it all together. Mm -hmm. All my cosplay stuff, it took about that much. And when I created this one, I had to get a template, form it into a back signal, mm -hmm. and then put it on here, draw it on there, make sure everything matched. I used something called uh, acetate sheets. It's clear, just like this glass, and it's just a thin plastic sheet, and I can lay it on anything that I'm putting the shape on, and I can see what I'm doing, and trace over, cut it out easily, mm -hmm. or I can just eyeball it like I would normally do sometimes, and I put mm -hmm. some strips on the back to at least make it thick mm -hmm. and more stern, and then it's a circle piece right mm -hmm. here in the back as well, so I can mm -hmm. give it some of its shape, and I use the um, I use the heat gun to just blow it on there heat it up mm -hmm. and just fold it and hold it in position mm -hmm. until it stay that way and then you have your shape after that and i use contact cement super glue and hot glue in order to make this work now the one thing about the contact cement you have to wait at least two to ten minutes for it to dry mm -hmm. but i had to learn how to beat that process when i'm working in a timely fashion so what i did was when i really want to speed it up Mm -hmm. I would grind parts down with my with my Dremel, just sand it off, just so the glue can stick easily. And mm -hmm. I take some super glue, and I take some hot glue from my hot glue gun, and I would take some Gorilla mm -hmm. glue and put it all on there at the same time, mm -hmm. and just sit it on there, and it glues together in less than a minute. Because that hot glue, it makes it kind of because the hot glue is hot and it melts it. So, and when it stick. Once that Gorilla Glue is on there, it ain't going nowhere. It's just like concrete. So that's my presentation for these. I enjoy making them and hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And you will be seeing more of this stuff on a whole nother level. This is just the beginning. Okay.